Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here coming to you from Sparta, Mississippi. Wait a second, that cannot be right. I'm not in Sparta, Mississippi. Where am I? Oh, this must be correct. I am in Mystic Falls, Virginia. No, I'm not. I'm not in Mystic Falls, Virginia. I am in Covington, Georgia. Now showing history, hauntings, and Hollywood starring Covington, Georgia the self-proclaimed Hollywood of the South. That's what they actually call themselves, the Hollywood of the South, and that's for good reason, because there's been so many television shows, commercials, and feature films here filmed that they have actually earned that title, Hollywood of the South. Now it's time to get in my van and take an unedited, vicarious tour of Covington, Georgia join me shall you it's my second channel daily blog channel very rarely do I actually use the join me shall you phrase on the daily vlog but today here on the daily woo I've used it I gotta move fast because I got a lot to show you I got it oh we turned that down what was that we got music on there I don't know what was cranked up on the radio didn't have time to listen in anyway got into Covington last night Covington is actually a really awesome town there's a lot of places that i have visited many times across the u.s in my travels in the last few years and covington is probably in the top five or the top ten of places that i like to just do little pit stops at stop in because there's a lot of movie history and television history that i am fans of the shows and the movies that were filmed here plus it's a nice area everyone here is very kind-hearted it's a southern town southern hospitality at its finest However, I need to get across this road. Hopefully someone lets me in. Okay, we're cruising along. So basically that was the little information area. If you go inside, there's a little gift shop. If you go in the Covington, Georgia, not gift shop, but the information center, you can get some information about different movies that were filmed here. If you go in there, tell them Adam the Woo sent you and also tell them that I've actually been here and filmed a couple of videos Whoa, am I going this way? Yes, this is not a one-way road. The thing about riding in areas where you're not familiar with is that you do not know if roads are one way or not one way. When you're in your hometown, you know every road like the back of your hand. However, when you travel around and you're not familiar, thoroughly familiar with an area, it's very difficult to actually figure out where you're going. Sometimes you turn down a one-way road, which I've done before. People start hawking and waving and saying, where are you going? You're going the wrong way. Anyway, all right, cruising this way. And I need to start this tour. The problem with unedited vlogs, well, there's not really a problem. They're pretty awesome because whatever happens, happens. And I'm glad that you guys are honing in on what is happening in this vlog because the beauty of uneditedness is the fact that no matter what I say, even if it is incorrect, sometimes I goof up definitely research the facts that I'm telling you. The beauty of satellite view, a lot of times I'll try to tell you what roads I'm on so you can go on satellite view or street view and you can kind of follow along with me on what we're doing. Anyway, so basically we're cruising a little bit away from the downtown area. We're going to end the vlog back in downtown, but first I wanted to show you something that is not on the Covington list. Look at this. Hollywood, can you see this? Hollywood of the South. See that right there? Hollywood of the South. See, I was not making that up. They actually call this place, I don't know what these guys in the road are doing. They're hammering a nail into the concrete, which is very unusual. Okay, couldn't show you that because I am driving. I don't want to grab the phone. Hollywood of the South, which is very interesting as well. I'm rambling a lot. I was in California 10 days ago. Between a week and a week and a half ago, I was actually in the real Hollywood. A mecca of movie goodness filmed in Hollywood on the West Coast, but this is closer to the East Coast. Covington, Georgia is like centralized Georgia. It's about 20 to 30 minutes from Atlanta, and I like it much better than Atlanta because Atlanta is very hustle and bustle, where Covington is very relaxed, very awesome, and that's why a lot of directors, movie producers, studios, independent filmmakers have chosen this area to make movies. And the first stop I want to show you is from Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. A lot of people call it H2. 
And the house, the Michael Myers house, is actually right, right over here. This is Michael Myers' house. Shonk -kong 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 -kong. That's Michael Myers' house. He's an evil kid who turned into an evil man. Directed by Rob Zombie, the first Rob Zombie rehashing, reimagination was actually pretty decent, but the second one a lot of people consider to not be a very good film. I kind of enjoy it, but I think it had a little too much gore for me. Less, not a lot of story and a little too much gore. That's just my opinion. However, I do still enjoy Rob Zombie's movies, and that was the first stop on our Covington tour. Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. However, if you look in this book here, there's very little facts. There are actually quite a few facts about Covington, but Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, the 2009 version, I think it was, is nowhere listed in this. I don't know if they want to acknowledge it. Maybe they're not happy with it. However, Friday the 13th Part 6, was actually filmed around Covington. Hard Labor Creek State Park, I believe is the name of it. I filmed a video in 2011 with my friend Ginger. Out there, look up Friday the 13th, six filming locations, Adam the Woo, on my main channel. You can see all the locations from that in great detail, as well as another location here in Covington that I did with my friend Ginger in 2011, which I will tell you about momentarily. But first, let's pull over into this parking spot. We're gonna park right here. Enough rambling, enough in the van. You guys don't wanna see in the van. You wanna see the sights and sounds of Covington. Let me get a little swig of drink. Let me show you this. Covington. Oh man, caffeine in the morning is so good. You recognize that view? Maybe? Do you know what that sound is, Highness? Those are the shrieking eels. And this is the shrieking Covington City Skyline, if you want to call it. It's not really a skyline. It's basically just a courthouse tower, which you've recognized from countless TV commercials, feature films, movies, wonderful television shows. You've actually seen this exact shot. And speaking of Friday the 13th Part 6, in the video I did, I neglected to show this in my video, I don't know why it slipped my mind, but this is actually the police station where Tommy Jarvis came running out. It used to be a library. Now it's a People's Home Medical Center. Tommy Jarvis came out, got in his sports car, peeled off into the darkness and into the rain and into the night of Friday the 13th scariness, if you will. Let me check to see if my door is locked. All right, my door is locked. Speaking of night and scariness, something else happened in the night. This right here is the police station from In the Heat of the Night, the TV show that was on for, gosh, almost 10 years, starring Carol O'Connor from All in the Family, the famous actor, the gifted actor, Carol O'Connor, walked these streets and filmed many episodes right here. The very first season was actually filmed in Louisiana, and then they had a little disgruntledness between Carol O'Connor and the producer, or the director, I can't remember which, someone in the upper nether region management of in the heat of the night got in an argument they fired them kept carol o'connor as a star and they moved their home base of filming right here to covington covington georgia in fact if you look at the opening scenes you ever hear the theme song in the heat of the night one of the shots from the opening credit just go on youtube and look up in the heat of the night intro credit sequence something of that nature you can actually see this exact shot right here. There's a guy's face and his name, the star, and that building right there is in the shot. And another shot from the intro. Whoa, there's cars coming by very quickly. I almost ran out in the road. Last thing I want to do is get mowed down by a car in front of the Friday the 13th police station and the Carol O'Connor in the heat of the night police station. There's another shot from the opening sequence. So go on YouTube. Look up in the heat of the night intro, and you can actually see that exact shot. You might be thinking to yourself, I've never seen in the heat of the night. Probably the only reason I've really seen it is when I would go to my grandmother's in Mississippi years and years ago as a child. She loved 
in the heat of the night. So I think I saw probably half of the episodes vicariously while sitting there as a child watching my grandmother enjoy. Okay, look at this. Watching my grandmother enjoy in the heat of the night. So this area kind of reminds me of my grandmother a little bit, how much she loved that show, which is really awesome. Okay, so back to this. There's a little placard right there. Not a placard, really, but it's in the concrete. It says, in the heat of the night, the roads are actually lined with all of this memorabilia and facts, factoids, stars, if you will. Hollywood on the West Coast actually has their stars on Hollywood Boulevard. They have their stars here, but they're not stars. They're basically just little concrete octagons right over here. I'm not going to have, I don't have time to show you all of the different names that are actually all along here. But I do want to show you some of the stuff that was filmed in the town square straight ahead. Okay, here we go. Remember what I was saying about Friday the 13th? Friday the 13th, part six. Really cool to actually do that filming location. Make sure you go over to my main channel, Adam the Woo. You can see Friday the 13th, part six, filming locations. I hit every spot except for that spot right there and another spot where he made the phone call, which is on the outskirts of town. Most of my filming locations dealt with the Camp Daniel Morgan at Hard Labor State Park. But enough about Friday the 13th. There's another one right down there. There's so many different movies and television shows that have been filmed here. In fact, Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet Home Alabama with Reese Witherspoon was actually, some of the scenes were actually filmed here as well. The problem is we're not in Alabama. We're actually in Georgia. And yes, I am jaywalking right now. Look at that. It says no walking. But when you're in Alabama slash Georgia or Mystic Falls, Virginia, or wherever I am, Covington, Georgia, I'm so confused by all of these names. I guess you could just jaywalk. I don't know. I don't know how the police are normally. Roscoe. Roscoe P. Coltrane circles this entire Covington, Georgia circle. In fact, that's right. That is the courthouse from the Dukes of Hazard. Just the good old boys, never meaning no harm. Always been in trouble with the law since the day they was born. Boss Hog, Roscoe, the Duke boys, all cruising around this little area right here. In fact, I also did a filming location in two, November of 2011, right here of the Dukes of Hazard. We're crossing the road. This is a very interesting intersection, if you will. So go on YouTube, look up Friday the 13th Part 6 filming locations, and look up the Dukes of Hazard filming locations, Adam the Woo on the Adam the Woo channel. And you can see a lot more detailed area of this vicinity and where I was. But I do want to give you a brief walkthrough. Really awesome. The sun is coming down. It's still somewhat early. It's almost lunchtime. There's actually some stores selling some memorabilia from the Dukes of Hazard from Friday the 13th, part six. And more importantly, more into this genre and demographic of a younger group, which I've actually never seen this show, next to the courthouse, is one of the exterior filming locations of the Vampire Diaries Mystic Grill. Inside the Mystic Grill is an exact replication, replication of the inside of what they use in the show, which is on a soundstage, but the whole exteriors are filmed all around here. There's the courthouse from the show. There's actually the grill from the show. And all of these areas here in the courthouse can actually be seen in the show. In fact, speaking of another movie, there's a movie called Run Ronnie Run. And they had a famous scene right here where he gives a speech and you can see this pillar of goodness and you can see the courthouse behind him in the shot. So many movies. Just look up Covington, Georgia filming location. Covington, Georgia filming. And you will see so many that I can't even mention in this vlog. I'm just trying to knock out a few of the key ones that maybe you will probably know and love. So there we have it. Right there. Filming locations from the Vampire Diaries. Which I don't know. Is that kind of like a television version of Twilight? I am not really too sure. Another movie. Burt Reynolds was in a movie. What movie was he in? Cannonball Run with Dom 
DeLuise, remember Dom DeLuise, who passed away not too long ago. Very funny guy in a lot of comedies. He was in Blazing Saddles. I think he was in The Secret of Nim. He did one of the voices in Secret of Nim. And of course, Cannonball Run and Smokey and the Bandit too. One of the famous scenes right here from Cannonball Run where Burt Reynolds and Dom DeLuise fly a small miniature plane and they fly it in from the sky right up there. So imagine a small plane flying in, landing right where that car is, and going right down that way. So that's basically what happened. The plane landed, took off, and in the shot there's a lot of town people. It's actually weird because when they filmed it, they obviously didn't clear the streets. So there's tons and tons of locals that can be seen in the shot dangling out of those windows right there, dangling out of those windows, people dangling out of the windows, standing up there on that little railing and that stairway. And there used to be a store on the back side of that building which if you look on Google Earth, the, the store is gone. That was a store that Dom DeLuise ran inside, got the six pack of beer, the plane was still running, the wind was whipping up from the engine blades, ran in that store. The store is now gone, but when the plane takes off, imagine this scene, pause this, go on YouTube and look up the scene, or if you have the video, Cannonball Run, the DVD, the plane takes off straight that way and takes off sky high in the air at the craziest, angle of all time. Back to Halloween 2, Rob Zombie. There's another spot right over here, which I think was the store that the female lead worked at. I think it was a bookstore. It was actually right here. And there was actually a shot in the movie where they did a really cool, what do they call that when they put a camera in a spot and a time lapse, that's what it was called. And they put the time lapse camera right on the corner of that building. So in the movie, you can actually see the town square all decorated for Halloween, because it is called Halloween too. The camera would have been right up there. And the camera angle would have shown all of this. So you can go on YouTube, or you can just look up your Halloween 2 video if you have it, and you can see the shot, which would have been a crane shot, but I'm thinking they actually put the camera right up there. All right, there's one other thing down here which I'm not sure if we're going the right way, but hopefully we do. Right down here is another spot from the Vampire Diaries, I think it is. I've never seen the Vampire Diaries. This should probably be where I tell you about what I've been doing. Still cruising around in the van. Gonna be in the van a few more days until I get to Pigeon Forge. And then I'm probably gonna try to find like a cheap hotel for like a week or so. Be hanging out at Dollywood. Hopefully gonna try to hit the Dukes of Hazard museum and film a main channel video there. In fact, I've also started editing another main channel video for the Adam the Woo channel. I started filming, editing that yesterday. Doing a lot of filming, doing a lot of editing. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. This might be it. This might be it. I don't know where I'm going. But you know what though? I don't mind walking around aimlessly because it is actually fantastically nice out here. The weather is nice. There's none of that thick Florida humidity yet. It is kind of cool in Florida, but it's definitely a lot cooler here in Georgia. It's very nice. The sun is out. Birds are chirping, even though you can't hear them because of that loud truck that's back there. And I might be incorrect. Maybe, maybe you can help me. I don't know if this is it. It's not it. I thought that was the house there. Hmm. I don't know where I am. I thought that maybe this mansion Right there. I thought that that was actually the mansion from Vampire Diaries. See, I need to actually watch the show. Oh no, I'm wrong. The Vampire Diaries mansion is straight ahead. It's down there, it's down there, look. Well, that's kind of a bit of a walk. I don't know if we're gonna make it in time, but already 19 minutes and 35 seconds. I have a pact that I've made with myself not to go over 20 minutes of a vlog. We should just break that pack now. Is anyone still watching this at 19 minutes and 45 seconds into this vlog? That's what I wanna know. <laughs> if you're still watching this, 
leave a comment down below. It's now, a, it just achieved 20 minutes. Bong, 20 minutes, bong. We've achieved, I can't believe I'm ending the vlog at a vampire. I, I like vampires, but I like the Kiefer Sutherland type vampires. What I'm talking about is the Lost Boys. I've never seen Twilight. I always think of Fright Night. I think of the Lost Boys. I never really think of the Vampire Diaries. When I think of vampires, maybe I should start watching. Should I start watching that show or should I not? watch that show that is the question all right so basically gonna end this vlog as soon as I show you the vampire diaries mansion right up here so Dukes of Hazard in the heat of the night Halloween 2 a plethora of other movies filmed in Covington Georgia I have forgotten my stickers womp 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 no stickers in today's vlog however tomorrow I will drop some stickers off and be doing a vlog on the other side of Atlanta. The eastern, no, the western side of Atlanta, passing through there. Gonna be meeting up with a guy tomorrow, filming a video, and this is it right here. This is it. That's it. The mansion. Right there. The Vampire Diaries Mansion. All decorated for Halloween. There we go. Lockwood Mansion. Anyone home? Nobody but us vampires. All right, I really need to start watching more television. You know what, to be honest with you, I hardly ever watch any movies or TV shows anymore. Everything is just etched in my mind. From the past, that's why I'm such a pop culturist when it comes to 80s stuff, because I watch so many movies and so many TV shows from that era. Honestly, I very rarely, unless I'm researching something, will watch TV or movies or anything. Like even The Walking Dead, a lot of people said, go to some Walking Dead filming locations. I've seen two episodes of The Walking Dead. One day I will sit down, fester myself, to a couch at some point right now i'm in non-couch mode i want nothing to do with sitting on a couch and watching television i'm all about adventures going out seeing things doing things relying on my memory which is starting to fail me but one day i'll get caught up on tv shows and goodness maybe like the vampire diaries which who knows i probably will never never actually watch that or maybe i will walking dead and a series of other shows that i've never seen have a great day. 23 minutes of a vlog. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow, but only if you subscribed. Check down below for my t-shirts at theroot.spreadshirt.com. Help put some gas in my van to go to other filming locations, roadside attractions, and wonderful places. All right, goodbye from Covington. There's a Covington Police Department car right there. That looks nothing like the Hazard County Roscoe P. Coltrane car. Just a fact.